Welcome to DIY Solar and Wind. I have to discuss the situation I had. We had uh, like two and a half weeks of clouds, lots of rain, tons of rain. So I started adding more of the big blues, 245 watt solar panels, and still wasn't getting the results that I was looking for until we got a nice sunny day and I had a half a day luckily and uh, 14.8 it's not good for the batteries my opinion <coughs> I don't know what the realistic number is so I added the eighth battery I haven't showed you the batteries in a while so I'm going to take you down to the basement and show you how the off-grid system uh, battery bank is at the moment not expert but I am having a lot of fun with this. So we have 11 solar panels here. And get the light. I didn't clean it up. So, two, three charge controllers and a great big inverter. Right now we're running the refrigerator. Inside here I have four batteries and it's sealed. I got the caulking on there, the hot wires, the cold wires from the inverter going to the batteries and a garden hose. Which everything I got a rubber stopper and I and I drilled some holes in it. Or actually a guy from work. So that works really good. We're going out. I'm going to cock that in a little bit. And the garden hose goes right through the window. And I put a screen on it so we don't get bugs in there. But the battery bank is now ventilated outside. I had three batteries up here. Seven. But that's getting a little dangerous. So I went ahead and I put these down there. But here's the connectors on this side of the battery box. The hot and the cold to run down to this set of four. So now I have eight batteries. And uh, if you get a pair of crimpers, oh, if you're getting wire cutters, I have to suggest this. You want the rounded cutters. Because if you get the flat ones that flattens that wire, you're not going to get your lugs on there to make your own cables. So, just recently, I've been in the mode of making cables. And you get all the stuff, your local hardware or whatever, this crimper is eBay. I don't remember the price, but it's very efficient. I love it. I'm going to be making a lot of batteries now. And, uh, you get a couple spools of wire, the black and the red, and everything's color coded and everything's good to go. Okay. That was a storage tote I used in Iraq. It, very efficient. It worked in a combat zone. <laughs> it's going to work forever now. <laughs> All right. DIY Solar and Wind. Signing off. And have a nice sunny day.